Goldcrest Valley Greetings to episode number 14 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It really is. I've never, ever, on any of, even on FS15, I've never, ever had a header trailer. I either had the harvesters that had the big draper headers that have a built-in trailer hitch and wheels, or the header was small enough that you could drive and get around with it still on the front. So, this is the first for me, ever, on Farming Simulator, is having a header trailer. And what's also brilliant with this Massey Ferguson is a trailer hitch. Absolutely brilliant. So, you haven't got to have a tractor towing the header trailer. It's a good combination, works really well. I did want to check actually whether or not you need to strap it on or anything. Whether it auto locks on or I'm just worried about it toppling off. Well, it seems to be sat on there okay. I mean I don't know if it's actually sat on there how it's supposed to sit on there. But seems alright. Close that deal, close the harvester. I'll find the button in a minute, there we go. I'll raise it up a little bit away from the trail hitch. And off we go. Got the header trailer, got it on it. Seems to be on there okay. Beacon on the back, beacon's on. Combine does 20 miles an hour, it's not bad. Get this over to the farm. Quite a few of the fields could do with harvesting now. So there's a bit of contracting work going. Here we are again, as promised, next purchase. I did say I would get it, and I need it. Uh, he says, baling technology. I want a baler. Um, question is, round or square? I can go with round, I think. No, I'm not going to do size bells yet. Hang on, let's have a look at the... Uh, that's 70,000, that's 39 round bells it is, it's a lot cheaper. Now I downloaded these uh, New Hollands, the pack, the old New Holland colours, so I'm going to go with that one. Now, I am short a tractor, and let's be honest, no New Holland baler. It's going to feel right without a new Holland tractor pulling it, is it really? So, I'm going to get a T7. Am I? Yes, I am. Right, the rest of it I'll change back at my workshop because it's supposed to be cheaper. I don't know if it will be or not. Let's see. Oh, what have I done? Oh. There you go, T7 Heavy Duty. That's nice, I like that. And our new Roll Belt 460. Baylor. Fantastic, right. Let's jump in this. See what it sounds like, shall we? That's surprisingly quiet. Oh, I like that. It's got a nice throaty sound to it. Okay. 
Beacon's on. Beacon on the baler now as well. That's nice. Never had them before. Right, off to the farm. That sounds brilliant. I'm just going to keep slowing down and revving up every couple of seconds. I can't. Right. Cruise control on. That sounds great. Well, I got rid of the New Holland, so it had to be replaced with the New Holland, didn't it? Let's be honest. Now, before I do anything with the bailer, I'm going to just do a bit of modification here. Just drop that off a second. Right, let's see if it makes any difference, shall we? Customize. Yes, please. 290 or 315. Let's tune that up a little bit. Plus 12,000. I don't know what I was asking before. Standard wheel weights are wide. Wide, obviously. 14.3. Uh, don't know what I was asking for before. Yep, customise. Yes, please. Let's have a look. Whoa, okay, they are chunky, aren't they? Wow. And more horsepower. This has got a bit of grunt to it now. Now, very, very quickly, I'm going to turn the baler on. I'm going to do baling straight away. I lower the pickup. Turn on the baler. I want to clear some of the strips that are on the road roadways. Because they're kind of in the way. Well, not in the way, but they're just um you know, it's just untidy. Ignore me. <laughs> Lift the pick up. The pick up. I know this does all seem rather random at the moment, but I'm just trying to tidy up. <laughs> Unload our first bale on Goldcrest Valley. And there it is. What a wonderful thing. So, on my way back to the farm, I've been doing a few jobs here and there. Took on a contracting job, CR 1090. With the new Holland header. I think it's the Draper one. It's big anyway. Spin this round. All about them turns. Right. I did this one. I think it's worth about 12,000 this one. It's not a bad, not a bad little payout. I know I've got a lot of money in the bank already, but it's still not going to stop me doing jobs. I said I'm going to spend that money when I need it, and if I've got a chance to make some money, because there's a few fields need harvesting, I'm going to put more money in the bank. Um, interesting amendment to today. There was a Farmington Med 17 update on PS4. 
Um, I contacted Giants today actually regarding the problem with the silage bay. Just gone over there um, with um, a loading wagon with a little bit of grass in it and it is now recognising the grass. It unloaded it using the normal unload button. Um, I think left and right shoulder buttons and triangle. Um, and it recognised it and started filling. So they've obviously, it was obviously a glitch, it was a problem and it is now working. So that's all good news. Means I sold my Crone Big X 580 for absolutely no reason. <laughs> so I'm a little bit annoyed. Uh, never mind, it was one of those things. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to do jobs like this. I'm going to do jobs like this to try and make some money back so that I can either rebuy it or what was also in the mods download today was the Crone Big X 1100 pack. So it depends if you want massive amounts of horsepower at the end of the day. They'll both do the same job, it's just whether you want 1000 odd horsepower or you're right with what you got. So anyway, I shall carry on doing this and you'll probably just see what I make at the end. Okay, nearly there, last little strip, and we should be complete. Just a bit of finish before I get to the end, otherwise I'll just go way back down for that last little bit over there. Come on. View. Okay, 12,000, 22,000, 23,000. That's not bad for one field. I'm not going to say it. I normally say happy with that. Oh, yes, got the conveyor belt on the back. This is going to seem a little bit random because I was bailing um, and now I'm doing this. Um, it's because I went over to the silage bay to check to make sure it was actually working now after the uh, the install, um, whatever, update, not upgrade, update. So, back to the farm we go. You may notice a few bales scattered about. Um, what I started off doing yesterday, I went round and cleared up all the bits of uh, hay that were on the roads. I know it's OCD, it's a bit mental, but I did it. So what I'm going to do now is, to, I'm not going to do that, turn the baler on, top the pick up, that should, if you look in the back of the baler, we'll be turning, the belts are going. Fantastic. And I'm going to bail the rest up now. With the awesome sounding T7 heavy duty. God, it's amazing. And this is going up quite quickly. If you remember, I do my kind of... Yes, yeah, really quickly. <laughs> The thing I do on, um, or did, on FS15, where I cut the grass, let it grow again, then cut it again, and then windrow it, tether it, and do all the rest of it. So you're not doing... Make the right minutes, aren't I? Right, let's open it up. Drop that off. And carry on. I'm going to get quite a few bounds out of this, I think. So I might end up, depending on how many I've got, I might get the bell wrapper and wrap some as well. This might be quite a waste of hay in all honesty, because I'm pretty sure I was watching uh, Dagoin, I think I mentioned this when I started the bailing in the last episode, that you can actually bale grass and uh, turn that into silage bales. If you can, it saves all the hassle of mucking around, teddering and everything else. So if you can, brilliant. So the only downside to the round balers is you have to keep stopping. At least the square ones are automatic and you just go and they just fall out the back. I think I missed some. Let's go back for that. That's 
that's better. Actually, I'm going to carry on a bit for it. It all, it's all a bit random, I'm kind of going all over the place. I tried to do straight rows, but it doesn't always work out that way. Now what I can do, I'm assuming it'll be the same. Just have a quick look. If I go to the stats page and find where it says bales. Created bales. In total, 14. In this session, 4. Oh, so I've done 10 already. Oh, okay. So that's kind of like a bale counter. I know if you go right the way down, I think it's the one, two, three, four, fifth one from the bottom in the left hand column, created bales. Um, yeah, and if you also look down there, missions completed, 172 missions I've done. Wow, I didn't realize I've done that many. That's quite impressive. Right, anyway, enough of that. Let's carry on. Animations as ever are brilliant. You can actually see it flicking the grass up. It's incredible. I think I've done around here now. So just lift the pick up. Not that, that beep's gonna drive me mad or anything, but just drop the pick up and carry on. Not quite sure how many of these barrels are gonna roll away. I haven't had any roll yet. Anyway, so good news about the silage bays. I'm glad that's kind of, it was obviously a glitch that's now been kind of fixed. Um, it wasn't me going mad. I was doing the unload. Oh, blimey, that filled up quick. Crikey. I see a lot of, uh, a lot of hay there. Um, yeah, there was obviously, um, there obviously was a problem. I spent ages in and out of those silage bays, silos, whatever you want to call them, pressing circuit, triangle and unloading and it wasn't registering I was collecting the grass back up again it was the reason I first got the uh, the conveyor belts was to collect the grass I'd put into the silage bay um, and then I watched um, who did I watch last night mine's gone blank uh, Moose2006 I watched one of his tutorial videos and it was about silaging and he was saying oh you, you know you have to press there's a separate button on pcs it's like a forced unload and I, I couldn't figure out what he was talking about but it actually turns out it was a glitch so that's good all sorted it means i can get on with doing some silaging i'm not going to do it for making money because you don't make a huge on it amount on it but i will do it for the cows for feed to say the uh, yield on grass is incredible on this. I know I did two cuts, but it's still really good. It does mean you shouldn't spend as much of your life because um, <laughs> you used to spend an inordinate, inordinate amount of time um, cutting grass. I mean, it so you shouldn't have to do it for as long, which is great. Uh, new mods out today as well on uh, the mod hub were new sheds. Um, just while I'm doing this, go along to I assume it's going to be placeables. Where are they? There we go. Lizard grain storage, small vehicle shelter, medium vehicle shelter, slightly different design. And I'll check the bale counter again. I don't want to overload the map with bales. And I need to collect some and take some over. Ready for doing mixed ration. And things like that. I don't want to go mad because otherwise it will start glitching. 
So I'm just going to check my count. Creative barrels, 24. I can do some more. I just want to overload the map. I'm sure 24 hay bales, that's a fair amount. Any a bale up here, I'm going to try to move out of the way so I've got room for the harvester to turn around when it needs to do the harvesting. this round to one side probably here right I've made 32 bales if I get the auto stacker for round bales that's eight bales um, each time so that'll be four loads which will work out just right. I've left a bit of uh, hay in the baler. The rest I'm going to leave on the ground, which I know is not the done thing. And I can always come back and bail more later if I need it. So I'm going to park this up and think about getting a bail auto stacker. Now, I had an interesting thought. I was just going to go off to the shop and I was going to get the uh, auto stacker. And I thought, I wonder, this comment about being able to bail grass and then turn it into silage, let's see if that'll work then i had another thought why don't you can well, can you put a front mower on mow and bale as you go so let's give it a whirl shall we right, unfold the mower let's get right in there turn it on i love the sound of this Drop it down, then we'll go baler on. Pick up down, and let's see what happens, shall we? You can indeed bale grass, and you can cut it and bale it at the same time. Now, you may have done this before, and if you have, brilliant. I never have, and I have to say, I'm really impressed with this. That's such a clever idea. And the yield off the grass is really quite high. So you can make grass bales. And then you just get the bale wrapper. It picks them up really well, actually. I'm actually missing anything. Oh, that's something else is filled. That's why I won't let me pick up from there. There we go. Um, wow, that's blown my mind. That's brilliant. And there we go. We've just cut grass and baled it. And I assume if I get the bale wrapper as well as the auto stacker, I'll be able to make silage bales too. Which will come in very handy. Well, okay. Yeah. Mind blown. Turn that off. Turn the mower off. Lift it. And fold it. Right. Wow, that's fantastic. I'm really, really surprised by that. Uh, nice little addition, something to try. And it's going to make doing silage bales so easy. Just whizzing around the map, picking up grass wherever you need it. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good idea. You can have a field dedicated for it, but there's plenty of grass around the map. You can just drive around and create bales. Go around with a bale wrapper, then go around with an auto stacker and collect them all up. It's, it's, <laughs> it's easy, in all honesty. Okay, right, well, there's another problem solved. Fantastic. I am going to go and get the auto stacker at some point. <laughs> I really will, I promise. What the? It's some kind of zombie apocalypse. Howdy, partner. There's only one thing to do in a zombie outbreak. Today's zombie outbreak outtake is brought to you by steel chainsaws. Oh, that didn't work.
Of course. What am I thinking? It's Halloween, isn't it? <laughs> 31st October. Thought, okay, there's been some kind of zombie apocalypse. What is happening? Okay. Weird. So, in case of a zombie apocalypse, keep calm and carry on farming. Weird. Right, okay. <laughs> I, I am at the store again. And I'm going to get the... Auto stacker, the Ursus T127 bale collector. Yes, please. Excellent, pretty much the same as it was on FS15, I guess. All just looks a bit sharper, a bit neater, tidier. Okay. I mean, let's be honest. This tractor is absolute overkill. I forgot to look in here actually. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sorry. I digress. Let's hook this up. Excellent. I will put the beacons on just because uh, I'm going to be going on the road. Actually, I'll go this way. Watching out for the zombies as I go, of course. <laughs> it's a nice touch. I like that. It probably explains as well in the update that came out today. It was probably for this too, I would think. Okay, so back at the field, farm, pickings off, lower this down into its operating position, and let's see how we get on. Now, I'm not going to do the entire field on screen, I'm going to do the first load of eight. Now, over there, I've stored the grass one I did earlier. Pickup does not like those bumps. It's been unfortunate about the bumps, to be fair, but pick up the random ones seem to be dotted. So many different colours. Oh, definitely hay. Anyway, regardless, what did I think there was a bell over here? Oh, there was one. Here we go. I thought I saw one. <gasps> Crops. Oh, sorry. Right. This is the end of today's episode. I'm going to load this up completely and stick it to one side. And I'm going to start taking them over to uh, where the cows are going to be. Yep, it's just not like this. Have to be careful on bumpy ground. That's realistic, give it its due. Take it up and down, I think. That was seven. One more. Anyway, yes, if you like the episode, give us a like. If you don't yet subscribe, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. That's all right. Um, if you want to share the video, be my guest. You are more than welcome to share the video. I am on Facebook. Screenshots and pictures appear on there regularly, as do the links to the YouTube clips. I think... That's about it, in all honesty. Um, I'm going to carry on collecting these up, but I thought I'd show it, picking up one set anyway. I'm going to stick them up here for the time being, um, and then I'll come and collect them later on, because I don't want them all in one place again. It can get a bit of glitchy and slow things down, or it used to on FS15. So I'm going to do in the corner here, just very, very quickly. If you haven't used one of these before, just reverse it up. If the controls are the same, and I'm not sure they will be. Yep, they are. Left shoulder and triangle. It lifts them all up. 
happy with that. Should be left shoulder and triangle again. Whoa. That unloads them. You have to drive forward slowly, very carefully, so you don't catch the bales. They are unloaded. Put that back down again. There we go. So that's our first eight hay bales off the field. And done. Whichever of the options you choose to do today, as always, thanks for watching.